yourself to do what you said you're going to do so that you can be a more reliable, dependable, and trustworthy person for others, and you can count on yourself to get things done. My name is Gia, subscribe for feminine style outfit ideas and inner and outer beauty. 2022 is already flying by and I'm trying to keep up with myself. I'm not going anywhere, but I haven't really had time to catch up with myself since I feel like everyone wants something from me. Uh, <laughs> too many commitments, yet not enough hours in the day. Here's how to manage all the things you devoted yourself to in your calendar without going crazy. Okay, you might feel a little bit spread out, but we'll also go over how to prevent this from happening again. First, prioritize your must tasks. So these are things that need to be done right away. This can be bringing that parcel to the USPS straight to the post office to make sure that you get your refund as soon as possible or getting laundry done before the start of the week. It's most likely that these things aren't very sexy and they're not recreational activities such as hanging out with your friends or going to the movies. Some things just need to be done and we need to make it attractive. So a way to make it fun is by going out all glam, dressing up, doing your hair and makeup, uh, having a cute outfit on and you feel good about yourself and you do it quickly but efficiently to get ready to make sure that you feel your maximum beautiful when you go out so you don't mind uh, being out and about getting these errands done on your high priority high priority to-do list so you get them all checked off. So for me, this would be coffee, supplements, gym, coffee, supplements, gym, coffee, supplements, gym. It's obviously my health that are at the top of my list. So because I'm most likely to have gotten enough sleep the night prior, but need to prep my body for the day to come. And this doesn't mean like just getting glam, just like doing my hair, makeup, and dressed up. This means like actually feeling good. So these are things, these are also things I have used. Oh, sorry. These are also things that I've had my hardest time doing, so coffee supplements gym, because there were so many logistics and inability with wrapping my mind around these habits, but they just need to be done. Next, prioritize your highly profitable tasks. This is specifically for entrepreneurs, but it applies for employees also. For instance, as an entrepreneur, sometimes I have grunt work that I can't outsource and is much needed to do anyway, so like posting on my LDK, follow me at Gia J. Dixon, where like there aren't really professionals out there who actually do this and get paid. If you know someone, comment below, but um, I've searched every everywhere. So the next thing is to just do it. If people are counting on you, all the more reason to. If you're counting on yourself, get excited and get used to relying on yourself. Just get up and do whatever the task is at hand and do it. Don't give, don't give yourself time to think, moan or dwell on the idea. Just get off your behind and actually do it. It's one less thing on your to-do list, to -do list, one less thing to worry about. It's much harder than it sounds, but when you get into the habit of doing what you said you were going to do, it becomes an automatic action in your brain and you don't have to think about it. So how long does it take for your mind to actually do this automatically? How long does it take to automate a task, automate a habit? I can't speak for you. There's a lot of things that say it takes this many days, but it's actually different for everyone. So I noticed personally for me, it takes about two weeks to get into the habit of doing something. So the first week I see it every day on my agenda, but I don't do it, but I lament not doing the task. And I'm wondering why am I not doing it? So the next week I actually get used to doing it because if I'm doing it for the first time, I don't do it all the time as a habit. Um, what I'm aiming to do is doing it regularly so it usually sticks after that week because i know i can handle it and actually commit to doing it i don't hope something will happen just make it happen by doing it and creating time and space to actually do what it is you said you were going to do hope is not a strategy life gets easier after this and people will see how committed to what you say you do how committed you are to what you say you do so this builds trust self-esteem and confidence in taking on more or less depending on what you know you can handle thank you so much for watching this i hope you find some inspiration in this and feel free to share with your friends as a free way to help my channel grow your support is endlessly appreciated and don't forget to sign up for my weekly email list where i send out glow up tips and inner and outer beauty and style outfit ideas thanks so much for watching and i'll see you later